Ezekiel 25 delivers a series of prophecies against the nations surrounding Israel, illustrating the consequences of hostility and gloating over the misfortunes of God's chosen people. This chapter is a reminder that God defends his people and holds accountable those who rejoice in their suffering. The chapter begins with a message to the Ammonites. Listen to what it says in verses three and four. Because you cheered when my temple was defiled, mocked Israel in her desolation, and laughed at Judah as she went away into exile, I will allow nomads from the eastern deserts to overrun your country. They will set up their camps among you and pitch their tents on your land. They will harvest all your fruit and drink the milk of your livestock. This clearly describes God's response to their mockery and delight in Israel's tragedies and highlights a principle we see all throughout scripture about God's sovereignty and justice. He will not ignore those who harm or rejoice at the harm of his people. The prophecies against Moab, Edom, and Philistia, each judged for their actions against Israel. The consistent theme is clear. God watches how nations treat his people and acts justly to uphold their cause. This isn't merely about favoritism. It's about God's sovereign plan and defending his covenant with Israel, a covenant and promise that goes all the way back to Genesis. Listen to the promise that God made Abraham in Genesis 12, verse three. It says, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you with contempt. All the families on earth will be blessed through you. This foundational promise highlights the protective and corrective nature of God's interactions with the nations. Ezekiel 25 calls us to reflect on our own attitudes and actions towards others, especially those who are within the family of faith. Are we supporting and uplifting each other or are we, like the nations Ezekiel is addressing, finding satisfaction in the struggles of others? This chapter challenges us to uphold a spirit of compassion and unity, recognizing that God cares deeply about how we treat his people, and he calls us to extend grace and support rather than judgment or ridicule.